Hey guys, today we have a paper by researchers at UC Berkeley who invented an architecture called RCNN, which combines some incredible technologies to revolutionize the field of object detection. Object detection is used when you not only need to know what is in an image, but where in the image it is. And solving this has huge implications, especially in the world of autonomous vehicles. The first really successful attempt at this was SIF features back in 2004, and they worked by computing orientations of image gradients across the entire image and using those as features. Now, to do object detection with this, what you would do is you would extract the SIF features from a training image, such as this frog or this train, and then you can perform a feature mapping with a new image, which will then let you localize your training images. Now, this was fantastic because the features were incredibly robust to scaling, transformations, and occlusions. However, calculating SIF features is incredibly slow in tasking. So to speed up things, researchers in 2012 came up with a better strategy that doesn't involve computing SIF features across the entire image. They created a technique called selective search, which proposes a bunch of tiny candidate regions within an image that might contain useful features, and then recursively combines these features based on similarity metrics such as color, texture, and pattern, until just a few large regions are proposed. Now this is great because sometimes you get an image that's mostly background, and calculating SIF features across a mostly background is a waste of computation. By combining SIF features with selective search, they were able to keep their object detection accuracy on par with other feature extractors while yielding incredible speed improvements. At the same time as selective search came out, AlexNet also debuted and showed the power of convolutional networks as image classifiers. They destroyed the competition in the 2012 ImageNet challenge, yielding over 10% improvement over the second place team, which was using an ensemble of hand-engineered features, including SIF. Given the success of AlexNet in image classification, the authors saw an opportunity for the advancement of object detection as well. Why not combine the fast region proposal algorithm of selective search with the latest technology in image classification with AlexNet? And that's exactly how the RCNN architecture was born. Now, their main challenge was that the convolutional network needed a lot of data to train, but their object detection data sets were pretty small. So this required them to also build a new method to train their network. They decided to train their model in two stages. The first they call supervised pre-training, where they train their network on a large image data set. Now this will teach their network how to extract generic features from images. Then in their second step, domain-specific fine-tuning, they'll fine-tune their model using the data set they really care about. So their model can learn to detect the more specific features that actually pertain to them. Now, between these two types of training, they didn't make any changes to the network architecture. However, they did lower the learning rate for the second step in their training, so they don't lose valuable information that they learned during the pre-training steps. With this new training method, they achieved state-of-the-art object detection, both when compared to other selective search techniques and against all other object detection systems out there, including their main competitor at the time, Overfeet, which also uses a CNN, however, over a sliding window across the entire image. Since the publication of this paper, many improvements have been made to the RCNN architecture to make it faster and more efficient, including in 2017, a group of Facebook AI research added a module to RCNN so that they can also perform image segmentation. However, the original RCNN was a foundational advancement in the world of object detection, shifting away from hand-engineered features and showing the true strength of convolutional networks and deep learning. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.